Fruit Guys. My name is Rishi Kumar and I am the executive director of the Growing Club. I'm also one of the one of the farm managers here at Sarvadea Farms, our, our urban farm here in uh, Pomona, California. Uh, our farm here is a research farm. We are trying to show the benefit that urban farms can have on their local communities. Uh, we're also a training farm. We have a we offer a free 18-week farmer training program to people in our local community who come to us and learn, you know, from the very beginning how to to take the seeds and start them in the nursery, plant them out to the field, harvest them, how to make compost, how to take care of chickens. Um, so it's a very full and holistic farmer training program that we offer. Um, and through the farmer training program, then the, the produce that we grow is distributed through our community supported agriculture program. And in the past year, we've had about an average of 25 CSA members that we produce for on a weekly basis. And uh, last year we were able to harvest from this, uh, from this property, which is about 17,000 square feet, we were able to harvest 10,000 pounds of produce for our CSA, and we trained over 30 uh, people in our farmer training program. So as you can see from the shots of our fields, our farm is very healthy. We have uh, extremely rich, healthy soil. We actually have about 10% organic matter throughout our farm, which is uh, very high, even for an organic farm. And, uh, and we grow a lot here um, because of all the ecological systems that we've put in place. Uh, we're a no-till farm, so we never turn the soil, and we're con constantly building the organic matter. But one of the things that we've noticed is because we lack um, perennial habitat, for beneficial insects like parasitic wasps or um, ladybugs or lacewings, we do oft not too often, but somewhat often get damage in our in some of our crops, like this bok choy right here. You know, we're finding that it's getting all hole getting holes all over, and there's little you know uh, caterpillars that have been eating it up, and so that's why we've proposed to. Uh, do this project to create hedgerows throughout our farm and this is something that we actually uh, designed for when we started the farm. We have hedgerow berms that we've uh, designed into the plan of the farm but we just haven't had the budget to actually implement the hedgerows and so what we want to do is plant fruit trees, California native plants and wildflowers and have those areas reserved as a habitat for beneficial insects and wildlife in the farm. So I'm sitting here on one of the berms which I mentioned that we're going to we're planning to put the hedgerows in on and there's one of these berms in between each of our four planting fields. So we have three of these berms running north-south along the farm and then we also have another berm which runs along the whole northern edge of our farm so that's about 200 feet long and these are the areas that we want to put in our hedgerows and so they'll be spaced evenly throughout the farm so that they'll be perennial habitat close to all of the annual vegetable areas and on this berm behind me you can see these um, these little stakes that we've laid out so that's where the fruit trees will go and then in between and around the fruit trees we'll be planting the uh, perennial California native plants and also the wildflowers and we actually already have some uh, some California poppies which we've established here over the past few years but we want to add a much wider variety of California wildflowers um, and that'll be something that will not just contribute to the beneficial insect population and to the pollinator habitat but something that was, is going to add beauty to the farm and uh, also connect the farm to the, the history of this location and the plants that the people who, who lived here and whose land this is, um, what, how, what they relied on, the plants that they gathered their food from, their basketry from, their uh, medicines from, we want to have some of those plants on the farm and show that history. Hi, my name is Manju Kumar and I am the produce and field manager here at Sarvodaya Farm. Um, my job here is to get the interns comfortable with what's growing in the field, teach them how to grow food, how to plant food, how to harvest food, knowing just when the vegetable is at its peak. Um, and then how to go ahead and store it 
and how to eat it. I give them lots of tips so that they can get comfortable and get a hands-on experience of what it's like to grow their own food. We have an amazing team that works together here to run all the operations. We have Katie Lewis who is running the CSA and the intern program. We also have Lynn who is the compost manager and she is really passionate about teaching people how to reduce waste. Uh, we also have a whole other team of volunteers and club members that come together and support us in many, many of the tasks that need to be done here at the farm. We want to thank Fruit Guys for offering this uh, grant opportunity. Um, small farms like ours really need this kind of support to support our sustainability uh, practices. And this is a project that we're very excited about. Thank you very much. We look forward to all the insects and people that will gather at this farm. And the fruit. Thank and you. And the fruit.